Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, I let you know that due to security concerns, Microsoft is now delaying the launch of its controversial recall AI feature, where, as I mentioned in that video, will be, which will be left in the end screen, Microsoft had backtracked and postponed the launch of Windows Recall on Copilot Plus PCs. And they'd also mentioned because of this recall will now undergo testing in the Insider program and was initially set for a June 18th release alongside the new Copilot Plus PCs, which isn't happening anymore. It's not going to be rolling out with those Copilot Plus PCs uh, tomorrow on June the 18th. Now go check that video out if you'd like some more info. And as part of this further testing now, um, in last week's Canary Channel build 26236, um, there's a new function now called Screen Ray, and this is the first of two new fun functions now with this Recall AI feature now that Microsoft is now testing in the Insider program. So there's a new function called Screen Ray, and if we head over to one or two screenshots provided by the good folks over at Tom's Hardware, yeah, we can see to the top left, it's called Screen Ray. I don't know if you can see that in the video. And basically, um, Screen Ray apparently lets you analyze your desktop in real time without opening the full recall app so it basically puts us puts it into this little container and this can be activated using the keyboard shortcut win shift and d and this also now comes after the windows 11 canary build introduced um, recently another feature inside recall called search the web which is this feature and i posted on that and i'll also leave that video in the end screen so quite a little bit going on now where microsoft is undergoing further testing due to the uh, backlash and the security and privacy concerns. Now, as mentioned, ScreenRay displays a window that reflects the current desktop contents, and then you can select and work with text, links, and images within this actual container and window. Now, the next um, new feature is when you launch Recall, if you head to the next screenshot provided, it will now take you to a new homepage displaying recent snapshots. And this is a new feature called Topics, as we can see. And uh, um, previously launching uh, the app automatically created a new snapshot. We're now launching Recall will now take you to a new homepage displaying recent snapshots. So that's something else that Microsoft is working on. And basically how this all works is Topics work as search shortcuts. So you can create a topic by um, making a relevant search and saving the, re the results as a collection. So here we can see here are the different collections, Twitter settings, and so on. And uh, um, which means you can obviously revisit those snapshots and those collections uh, to that specific topic at a later date. And then over and above um, topics and uh, this new screen ray feature, Recall is also getting integrated with Copilot, which means um, this will let you access Copilot directly from content found in snapshots or on your current screen. So Quite a lot of changes taking place now uh, in the Canary Channel, where obviously Microsoft now um, is furthering work and testing on recall. Because I think, as I mentioned last week, it was a bit premature in its release. I think they were kind of trying to get it out by June the 18th with Copilot Plus PCs. And I think due to all the backlash and public you know, negative feedback, due to mainly security and privacy microsoft had postponed that launch as mentioned and it's going to be interesting to see where this recall actually lands up and how this is all going to pan out but nonetheless as always i'll try and keep you guys informed and posted as i get the info so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one